Good morning. So I got a neat little tool out in the coop yesterday. Check this out. It's, so it's 40 degrees outside here right now, uh, but look what the temperature inside the run, 48.4 degrees. So up there on the wall, inside the run is a temperature sensor. I got a really neat project today. You're really gonna enjoy this. Um, let's go out and check out the run and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today. First of all, of course, let's say good morning to everybody. Good morning, chickens. And there's the fan favorite. Hi, Patch. Hi, Patch. Give me your Patchy. You got your wrong side facing me. There you go. There you go. Hi, Patch. Hi, Patch. You gotta make sure that she's got the right side of her face facing you or she can't see you. Hello, Patch. Hello, Helen or Ellen. Those are our uh, sapphire gem hens. One of them's got a red eye and the other one doesn't. And one of them's Helen, one's Ellen. And I don't remember which one. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is the uh, bigger chickens have taken over the uh, roosting bars up here, and the little ones have not been wanting to uh, roost up there with them. Oh, Patch wanted to come say hello. Hello, Patchy. Um, they've just been laying over here in the corner on the ground. So I'm gonna give them uh, some additional roosting space for all the chickens, but I'm gonna do it out here. Uh, I'm gonna build like a tree roosting setup um, with a long post that goes up here and then multiple uh, sort of roosting bars that stick out, sort of like a tree. I have a feeling that a lot of the chickens will just roost out here at night because the temperature in this run at night is going to be the same as it is inside. So I'm hoping that maybe some of the big birds will use that, maybe some of the little birds, but I'm just going to give them some more roosting space. And um, I've got plenty of wood left over from building the coop. I've got some posts and some two by fours I'm going to use. So this would be a good project. Uh, let's get started. All right, one of the first things I need to do is um, I need to dig a big hole here. <clears throat> I need to get this post, the base of it, um, kind of down in the ground. I'll probably set a block down there um, just to keep any uh, major up and down movement from ground swelling or drying. You know, I don't need to be down the frost line or anything, but... I don't want it to heave up and push on the roof because um, I plan to attach kind of to this uh, the rafter that's up here. So I'm just going to clear some of this stuff out of here and uh, start digging myself a hole. So I do want to be pretty close to right underneath, underneath that rafter there. So this looks good enough. Okay, all right, that's good enough. Um, gonna grab this kind of a rough measurement on that and then let's uh, cut, get a post cut. All right, that's gonna be 84. Um, it's gonna be cut at a little bit of an angle, but we'll figure out that angle after we get it cut to 84. And by the way, I'm not supposed to be wearing these jeans. These are my good jeans. So, I'll tell the wife. So, uh, the best way to get this angle figured out is I just set the post up. Um, Right next to the rafter there. I'm just going to take my square, 
and uh, just mark this line across just like that. Glue it on both sides. And uh, we will recut it. Yeah, that angle's just perfect. So I'll be able to throw some dirt in there to bring that level up a little bit. Um, all right, so now to the tree part. So essentially I want one like here, maybe one in the back that goes a little higher. And then this one maybe a little higher, maybe another one up here. So I think what I wanna do is mark kind of my first one down here. Just give me an idea. And uh, then I'll just kind of play with it as I'm cutting these uh, notches out. So let me show you how I'm actually gonna do that. All right, first thing you want to do, um, set your saw depth to, I'm not trying to be exact here. I definitely don't want it to go all the way through. I just need to inset just a little bit. So we'll, we'll call that pretty good right there. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just square up this mark I made right there. And I'm going to measure an inch and a half, which is the width of a two by four. And make another mark there. And I'm just going to start making cuts here to cut out that area. Once you have those out, these should just break out of here, like so. All right, grab a screwdriver. And we're left with that notch, and then should fit a two by four. Pretty nicely. Yeah, you can pound that in there. Okay, so there's one. And I think that's gonna be a little long, but we'll, we'll cut these to length after we get all the notches done. So I think I'll put, um, I don't know, we'll just start working around the post and I'll put one a little higher up this direction. And uh, then we'll just kind of keep flipping and keep cutting. And I don't know, I don't know where I'll stop. We'll just, we'll just keep going. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with four right now. I can always add more. I make these uh, upper ones uh, kind of longer so i think we're good uh, let's go get this installed right, let's get this about where it's going to need to be here okay i need to throw some dirt in here all right let's just check this for plum Okay, well now I need some more dirt in there. That looks pretty good right there.
That's good right there. Okay, I'm gonna screw it uh, in up top here and then uh, pack the dirt around the bottom. Somebody has the egg song going on. Let's go see who that is. <laughs> they say, don't bother. Okay, that's not going to work out. All right, throw these shavings back around here. We're going to have one right here. This will be probably maybe a short one. Um, one off the back. That can be pretty long. Um, and I think these next two also can be pretty long. This one up here can be, well, it can only be so long before it can't hold its own weight in there. But um, I don't know, I think we're going to play with this. So let's cut this one first. And I don't know, let's get a tape measure. Um, I don't know, we'll say, we'll cut that one at 16. Mm -hmm. All right, I should be able to slip this in here. Might need a hammer. I need a hammer. Beautiful. Nice and tight. This is how I like it. That's what she said. And just a couple screws should secure this thing. There you go. All right, let's get one off the back. And uh, I don't know, we'll just start working our way up here. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I think it needs one more in here. Okay. Mission complete. Well, now we just got to wait for them to use it. I think they will. Um, let's give it a little bit of time and I'll come back out and we'll see if we can find some chickens on it. All right, take a look. I'll walk out there and uh, we'll get a closer look. What do you guys think? 
Uh, and I love that the little ones are on there, not the big ones. So maybe they've got their own space here now. I love it. All right, this is a good project for everybody. And you don't need to do it just like me. If you don't have, a, maybe you have a, a coop that doesn't have a roof on it, you can just uh, put that post a little bit deeper in the ground. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy that they're using it already. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.